Hi, and welcome to this Rockler demo online. I'm Rob Johnstone, and today I'm going to show you how to make something cool. Do you know what one of the hardest shapes to make accurately in woodworking? An oval. But what if you're not making just one oval, but 15? What kind of project is that? It's a CNC project in my mind. I just completed this little project on Next Wave Automation's SD100 CNC router. It's affordable and versatile. Let me show you how it works for making this little clock. Before we get to the CNC, I needed to prepare my blank. I used one of the small walnut slabs sold by Rockler, but any piece of stock one and an eighth inch thick will do. I cut it to length, marked the center, and drilled a three inch hole with a big Forstner bit. Then, using the center of the recess as a guide, I drilled a 5 16 hole the rest of the way through the blank. To mount the blank to the SD100, I use hold down clamps at the back and these squeeze clamps in the front. Notice that there is a spoil board under the blank. That protects the table if I set the cut a bit too low. I've also used two-sided tape on the clock blank. Better to be safe than sorry. I'm using this universal CNC router bit set from Freud. It's a perfect match with the SD100 and these small routers. To make this little clock, you only need two programs, and we're providing both of those free, their .tap files, in the information below. We'll start with the program requiring the eighth inch diameter router bit. Notice that I centered the blank with the 5 16 inch hole that I drilled earlier. Then I set each axis, the X, the Y, and the Z. As you can see, you'll need a PC-based computer to drive the router. And the SD100 comes with the software required. The blank properly mounted, the correct router bit in the router, and the proper .tap file on the computer, it's time to let the CNC router do its stuff. This first series of eighth inch cuts go pretty quickly. Now we're switching over to a quarter inch down spiral bit, which will do the rest of the machining. This will take a bit longer. With the hardcore machining of this little clock done, the next steps I think are interesting and really fun to do. First, I sand the blank smooth up to 320 grit. Then I spray a coat of shellac to seal the walnut's grain. Next, I add white colorant to some tabletop epoxy mix from MAS. When that's done, I just pour the mixture into the openings and I tweak it a little bit to make sure all the voids are full. And then I use a torch to remove the bubbles. And now it needs to cure overnight. Once the epoxy cured overnight, I sanded it smooth. Then I applied a couple coats of lacquer from an aerosol can. I assembled the clock parts and it was done. 15 perfect ovals in a sweet little clock. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Thank you for watching.